Ciao ragazzi, welcome back here at Claudio Giganti with Giga Racing and we're going to talk about Valencia One Pre Race. Um, back uh, um, on the screen here we got Valentino Rossi again negative uh, tonight. Uh, the test that was negative for Corona yesterday was still positive, but today we got negative. So he's flying down to Valencia. Tomorrow morning will be one more test. And if he passes that test, we'll have a nice green light to go for the weekend. Uh, we took a little break. We had one weekend off. Um, everybody kind of recharge. I think the riders is going to be really pumped for this weekend. Uh, let's talk with the talk of the day, Valentin Rossi. Um, well, um, I don't know how it's going to be if it does make it to um, be able to ride. Um, we're going to see a different Valentino Rossi, I believe. I mean, he had COVID. He probably couldn't train the way he was supposed to. Uh, Valentino keeps everything very reserved, so I didn't get any chance to get news and scoops about how was his uh, 10 days prior to the GP now. But in any case... Um, Yamaha had brought, had brought the a US rider uh, Gurf, uh, which uh, uh, I mean, he's ready for race uh, on the weekend. Um, he will be using a Valentino Rossi bike. He was very flattered and happy to be in Valencia and have the possibility of maybe riding Valentino Rossi bike. Uh, the team will be Valentino Rossi team that will be uh, preparing the bike uh, for him. So we'll see on that uh, press conference this afternoon in Valencia uh, with Mir, Dovizioso, Rins, Quattararo. Uh, basically all the first contenders uh, for uh, uh, the championship. We have Vinales as well. Um, Dovizioso uh, seems to be uh, the one at the back right now, 28 point away from uh, uh, Johan Mir. Then we have Morbidelli chasing as well at 25 point. Uh, Marek Vignales at 19 point. And then we have Quattararo at 14 point. So uh, it's very close. We also have, I forgot to mention, Alex Renz still in contention at uh, 32 points. It's going to be interesting, um, the championship between uh, the two uh, Suzuki riders. Uh, we'll see uh, through the press conference, everybody ask about, you know, the pressure and the stress that is involved of, you know, competing uh, up front. Pressure, Morbidelli mentioned, is normal. If you're racing, you're going to have pressure, especially if you're up front. If you're at the back, you don't really care, but... You have a lot of pressure when you're up front and you have to deliver a good result. Uh, uh, the person that I see in the best uh, condition right now, uh, psychologically and on the bike, I think is Morbidelli. Uh, we're going to Valencia, which is a track that we have quite a few corners uh, that will be in second gear or first gear, depends on gearing. Now, what well, that means, no long straightaway, it's a smaller track. Everything is going to be leveled out, leveled out. So I think we're going to see even Ducati coming back if I if it's going to be raining, which right now is pouring there. Tomorrow is expected rain. So if rain is the case and it's wet, I think we're going to be seeing Ducati back. So you know, let's uh, let's see what uh, Dovizioso can do under pressure. Let's talk a minute about Dovizioso. Rumors that he might be going. Uh, to uh, KTM uh, or Aprilia and it's, it's, uh, or Honda or Yamaha, test rider basically every, anywhere. And then, uh, you know, he could get a seat on uh, Aprilia. But I think Aprilia is leaning more towards Crutchlow. But Aprilia is still waiting to see what's happening with Yanone. Crutchlow was very really clear. He didn't want to mention anything. He said, until uh, we know the result of Yanone appeal we're not gonna know if uh, he's gonna have a contract or no so as far as Dovizioso go going back to Dovizioso uh, there is rumors about test rider for Honda test rider for Yamaha test rider for Aprilia uh, test rider not for KTM because KTM uh, has uh, Pedrosa so we don't know what's happening 
Um, I heard that uh, Lorenzo made the declaration that it's kind of unfair that Ducati, sorry, the Yamaha is deciding uh, about his future as a test driver based uh, on uh, Portimao in Portugal. Um, he said that that was a test that really, you know, he, he wasn't prepared for it and, you know, due to all the circumstances right now. So we'll see what is going to happen with that. I I strongly believe that he, he didn't put any effort to uh, to really to really stay in shape and everybody's thinking that he's not uh, in, a, in a shape to be able to ride a MotoGP bike. So that covers Lorenzo and Crutchlow. So up front, uh, I don't know guys, uh, I think we're gonna have an interesting weekend. I have no prediction except for one that I believe, I strongly believe that Mort Bidel is gonna be up front there. I put my money on him again. And let's see tomorrow um, in rain, because obviously it's gonna be wet. If we're gonna see the Ducati coming back, as I mentioned before, uh, Petrucci, let's see what the KTMs can do. Aprilia again, one rider only, Alex um, Aspargro, not much there. And uh, uh, probably we'll see again, back again, Alex Markets. Um, no really any good, any new news about uh, uh, Mark Markets. So guys, thank you so much for uh, watching today, pre-race for tomorrow. We'll talk tomorrow night about the rain day that we're gonna have on Friday. See how the uh, FP1 and FP2 went and see if, uh, finger crossed, that we got uh, Valentino with us at Valencia. Uh, and let's see if uh, everybody's gonna have lots of fun. So let's hope the best for tomorrow, guys. Thank you for watching. Giga Racing, Claudio Giganti here. See you tomorrow night. Ciao, ragazzi.